They've racked up a few more first downs, but really not. Just, we've never seen tonight the real Arizona, at least what has we've come to know is the real Arizona offense. And be high tempo offense, and they've done a great job executing. Personal foul. Trusting the face now. 94 of the defense. 15 yard penalty. First down. I'm not sure it matters. Jenkins with a first down to the 25 yard line. No injury that we're aware of there. Matt Scott definitely a blow to the head. Inadvertent. Something. Ineligible receiver downfield. Number 76 of the offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat second down. So back to the 30 yard line of UCLA. Daniel Jenkins out of the flat. More penalties are foolish plays. That can get chippy in a game like this. And down. Arizona needs five. Tanker to the end zone, just beyond the reach. Trans the numbers not quite as uh, overwhelming as they were at halftime. Now they're going to add to it here. After the conclusion of the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number seven of the offense. 15 yard penalty. A first down was gained on the play. It will be first down. Absolutely right. It, it's a uh, vast improvement over what it has been in years past. So this is a that has never recovered. UCLA with a massive offensive performance in the first half. As Jordan. Interesting that it's this late in the game to have your starters still in and still playing with this. And that means they control their fate. They've already beaten Arizona State. They have their game with USC coming up here in two weeks. Mora. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Number 84 of the defense. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Hard to fathom. It is why we love football. We love sports because now that's going to add to it. So they go, they go over 100 for the two weeks. And Stephen Manfro, you see his excitement. Again, the backstory of the trouble catching punts, fumble last week, taken off that assignment this week. Touchdown. So Fairburn. Jeff Locke drives another kickoff out. Only been one run back tonight. DJ Denker in for continuing on here for Arizona. The great part about Glenn Parker is that you know, he was a brilliant football player. I'm here for you. I, I just <laughs> I provide entertainment and the line. Speed win. <laughs> Athleticism always wins that. We know that. And leverage. <laughs> Flag down here on the punt by Arizona. The Rock. He was an athlete. He ran. <laughs> that means he. Of course, this Arizona team, they don't change their clocks. That's right. And all of you in Arizona. Or UCLA interrupted me by scoring a touchdown. Not that they haven't done that before tonight. Glenn was what we love about sports is the players and the emotions. And I'll tell you, Brett Hundley, unbelievable accuracy tonight. I mean, he made throws that were just beautiful with the way they were fitted in. It seemed game for this UCLA Bruins team. They've really come out to play. They did a great job, and they're reaping the benefit of it. And so, I'm assuming, important aspect of this game would be a running clock. In California, as he, he told us earlier in the year, the coaches who knew the conference, that was important for G And they're Bitter rivalry game. Won't be the last game of the season, but it is going to be here at the Rose Bowl. Just to be a, a great game, and as you said, that you bring your emotions back. I think you just said, lock it down. Let's go, lock it down. Personal foul, grasping the face mask. Number 12 of the defense. Automatic first down, half the distance to the goal. Scott was falling. He left the game. You heard Ryan's report that he was not totally coming in and you're a little crashed. It's easy to say, well, we're going to play Colorado. 
we're going to come back fine. They can't. They got to. They got to really get it back together. Work at tonight. Now 45 last week in Tempe, and now an astonishing 66-point night at the Rose Bowl. Coming in on this late Saturday night from outside the Pac-12, Boise State got beat tonight. San Diego State beat Boise State 21-19 in that classic Big East rivalry. And Jonathan Franklin becoming early tonight. It feels like it's about nine hours ago becoming as Richard Morrison is in the game, the quarterback. And Daniel Jenkins with a burst. There you see Franklin's total. You saw that tonight. 162 Jared Bay USC game to come in two weeks. And let's see is well, not going to make a defensive score there. Now in at quarterback for UCLA. And the Cibe getting the carry. That's what Moore did. He knew who it was. He just made that decision. Ding. After the conclusion of the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness for slamming the runner to the ground. Number 96 of the defense, automatic first down. They possibly responded to what Mike Leach said about them today. I think that's a good point. He, you know, he, he doesn't want to lose that team. Still to come in the North, three teams with a chance. One loss or less in the North. It's essential that a coach gets players to play. They have to play. And that's why. And a nice tackle there by an Arizona defender denying the touchdown. I mean, this guy's an unbelievable athlete. Danker back into quarterback for Arizona. Dave Hurd. It's something we talked about with Jonathan Franklin tonight. How good he was, how good he's been running through tackles. Play. But what a night. Homecoming. Uniforms that honor the heritage of UCLA athletics, the navy blue. War paint, <laughs> last minute. Uh, excitement and inspiration, and just a staggering night by the UCLA offense.